Hi, I'm back again to do uh, my Hope Devotional. This is One Step Closer Devotional Guide called Wild Hope by Candace Cameron Bure. So, um, I'm just going to pray and read scripture and just share um, like what I got from it. Um, hopefully it'll be encouraging to people. Um, so, let's just pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for being with us. Thank you for the people that have come to watch my video and just pray your blessing on all of us. Fill us with your hope and encouragement and your love. Um, help us to know that you're here and that you care and um, help us to learn what you want us to learn and grow close to you. In Jesus' name, amen. So I have the Bible verses written out um, on my computer. This is like the King James Version. So the first one, I'll put the, um, the verses in the description box if you want to like um, look them up or whatever. Um, so the first one is Psalm 131 verse 3. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. And Psalm 119, 28 to 31. My soul melteth for heaviness. Strengthen thou me according unto thy word. Remove from me the way of lying and grant me thy law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Lord. Put me not to shame. And Psalm 16.5 says, The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance, and of my cup thou maintainest my lot. Lamentations 3.19-24 says, Remembering mine affliction and my misery, the wormwood and the gall, my soul hath them still in remembrance, and is humbled in me. This I recall to my mind, thence therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. Psalm 18.6 says, In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Psalm 34, 6 says, The poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all of his troubles. 2 Corinthians four sixteen says, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. So, um, this one is just talking about hope is more than a feeling. So, you know, sometimes we don't feel like, all cheerful and optimistic and positive and it's hard to be hopeful um, so the question she asked was are you a positive optimistic you know kind of person um, and I said that I am more melancholy um, and I choose to hope um, so I just said lately I feel like it has been more easy for me to hope. Um, maybe because of doing this devotional, maybe because um, I've just been more happy lately. But um, it's easier to be hopeful when you feel happy in life, I think. Um, and then it says, what areas are, are you struggling in where you need help? So this is like kind of a personal question, but... Um, I struggle with losing weight and like taking care of myself um, and it's hard for me like when my mom has like Alzheimer's and dementia and my mom is my best friend and that is really really hard to have that happen to somebody that you love uh, so that's where I am struggling um, I have other things like I worry about things but um, it just basically says in the next part, um, 
This next verse says, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. So that's a verse in the Bible that just talks about how um, we can cast. He, he cares us, like every single one of us. And he cares about us. And he says, cast your anxiety onto me, for I care for you. Um, and that's just a huge comfort to me. It's comforting to know that God sees me and he hears me and he, um, he, he wants me to come to him and tell him my problems and, um, just let things go. Um, so it says, the next question is, says, how can you choose hope? Um, what kind of attitude mindset do you need to have? What kind of action do you need to take? Um, what kind of words can you speak? And I said, I can pray like in the last part, give all my words to God. Hope that things will all work out. Keep my mind on what is true and positive like the Bible verse says to do. So I thought of the verses, Philippians 4 verses 8 through 9, which says, Finally, brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good rapport, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. So, um, just like thinking on the good things, thinking on the true things, the positive things, um, and maybe turning off the negative stuff that goes on in, like, on TV or um, in social media or just kind of tune out those kinds of things and focus on the positive parts. And positive actions like reading the Bible Practicing self-care, loving and serving others, encouraging others, and speaking words of love. Uh, and then the next, the application part is like a little word search. Um, just searching for the word hope. And um, she just encourages you to um, look for those in conversation, in texts, in emails, on social posts. Um, writing words of hope um, and thinking about how you can encourage other people. And the last verse is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also you do. So build up hope in one another, encourage other people. Um, so... I hope that that was uh, a good devotional for you. It was like good for me. Um, I th I thought another thing I thought of was like to meditate on um, things like breathing in when you breathe in, breathe in like hope, breathe in love, breathe in joy. Think of words like that, and then when you exhale, breathe out. Like, you don't have to think about your worries or your concerns. Just say worry, concern. Like, just generally say that and just breathe it all out when you meditate. Or, um, I don't know if it would be considered meditation or, like, a mindfulness exercise. But um, another thing I, I've i done before is, like, kind of go to a happy place. Imagine you're at the beach or in the forest or whatever and think of, like, um, all your five senses, what you're feeling, and then, um, take a deep breath and breathe out all your cares and worries to the breeze, to the wind, to the ocean. Um, just let go of your concerns. And you can do that where, whenever, whenever you're feeling like, um, upset or worried. Um, so that's just something I thought of, <laughs> but I hope you guys are all doing well. I'll talk to you later.